say, like, I mean, here, we'll, we'll start off. We'll start off with paint on the, on the broadcast immediately, okay? Okay, here. Here's a pool of, of toxicity, okay? This is literally, like, maximum toxicity. We're talking clan meeting, okay? Okay, we're talking clan meeting toxicity and racism, misogyny, anti-Semitism, okay? Obviously, Siege is right here, okay? Let's be real. Siege goes above. Like, some of the shit that, that goes on in Rainbow Six lobbies, like, clan members would be like, listen up, Jebediah, I think you're going a little too far, okay? You, you need to calm down. I need to hold you back, okay? I need to hold you back! And then, um, you know, if we're, if we're comparing, like, toxicity, competitive shooters, stuff like that, Rust is even somehow above it. I don't know how, but, like, they've, they've introduced a new thing called Omega Racism. Like, they invented it in a Rust lobby where it's, like, they get mad at you if you're, if you're less racist. Like, they would look at, like, Rust would probably look at, like, Nazis and go, those guys are bitch-made, Okay. Like, it's competitive racism, uh, racism Olympics, okay? CSGO is unique because, like, it's very toxic, but I would put CSGO, like, up here, like, right touching the tip of the KKK. Not exactly KKK. Now, the reason why I say it, say that, is because CSGO's toxicity is, like, European. You know what I mean? It's like CSGO lobbies are, like, uh, you know, Balkan posting. A CSGO lobby is basically, like, they're, they're saying thousand-year-old slurs that you don't understand and somehow all of them specifically revolve around your proximity to being Polish, okay? Like, you got the Albanians, Serbians, and everyone is like, you are close to being Polish, you are dog, okay? Or Romani. So, it's, like, different. So, for that uniqueness, I would say, um, for that uniqueness of the racism... I would not put it at the fucking KKK level. It's just like, it's just teetering on the edge, okay? Um, and, then, and then, like, Call of Duty is like, you know, boom. It's like a little bit, sometimes a little bit more race. It's just like regular, you know, N-word hard R racism. You know what I mean? Like, Call of Duty is just like pretty basic. Pretty basic levels of racism. Like, just... Uh, you know, you're going to hear the N-word with a hard R. Like, you're going to hear it regularly. League of Legends is just awful. Right here. I would put League of Legends right here, okay? But that's just because, like, everybody hates each other and themselves for the most part. Like, if you play, if you play League of Legends, like, it, it's just, I mean, we're talking FPSs, so League of Legends doesn't even matter. I don't know why I put that in there. Fuck the League of Legends lobbies. Uh, and then, and then you have Valorant and I think Valorant, as far as like toxicity goes, like right here, still a lot of F words, you know what I mean? Still people tilting, but as, as far as my experience goes, I would say like Valorant nowhere near as toxic as the other places, but only because the other places are more toxic than a clan meeting. You know what I mean? Like like, there's a healthy dose of it. There's a healthy dose of, like, racism, sexism, misogyny, um, all that sort of stuff. But in comparison to, like, the racism Olympics, Valorant doesn't clear that bar. What are you, a racism sommelier? The Polish P-word is delightful aftertaste like smoked Gouda with a hint of raspberries? Yes, I am the racism sommelier, yeah. So, that's it. That's, that's what I got uh, as far as, like, that's my list of, of toxicity in, like, competitive FPS lobbies. I can't speak for Apex because I just haven't really played enough and don't really know enough about Apex, really. What is this? Let it go. Let it go. Let it go.
Go for a minute. Weenie! Weenie! Shut the fuck Wait, up. Weenie, if y'all are so good, how do we colonize you? We colonize you. <laughs> Constant. Yeah, it's yeah. pretty basic stuff. Yeah, clan rally, clan rally, clan rally shit. You know what I mean? It, pretty basic stuff. Yeah. By the way, you know what's really funny? Like people will people will be like, Hassan, you're you're joking. Like I get it. Ha ha. It's really funny. It's like no, that is literally clan rally racism. Like notice how I put. And by the way, like I said, Rust and Rainbow Six Siege somehow worse than that. Okay. Just understand that Rainbow Six Siege and Rust, you literally can't rank up in Rainbow Six Siege if there's a ranking uh, system. I don't even know. Unless you say the N-word, like, multiple times. You know how you get, like, daily, like, five headshots? You know, daily challenges? Like, in Rainbow Six, you have to say the N-word at least five times in a game. It's, like, one of your daily challenges. It's crazy. Yeah, racist double XP weekend. Like, sometimes you get uh, double XP when you're being, like, extra racist. It's crazy. At first, you're like, wait a minute. How is that allowed? But they just kind of get away with it. It's weird. <laughs> 